Pardos are gregarious creatures. They live in tremendous flocks, sometimes numbering in the millions. From time to time though, usually during migration, a few stragglers get lost, and it pays to find friends, even if they aren't your own species. Another fun day. Frank, the flamingo, was just three months old when he was blown off course and lost his flock during their annual migration from southern Africa to the northern Sinai. He was discovered floundering in the Red Sea by Jim Dinsmore and his wife Susan Johnson. And he was in a bad way. He was, uh, had swallowed a lot of salt water and was uh, really uh, suffering from hypothermia. It was trial and error for Jim and Susan, who had rehabilitated many storks before, but never a flamingo. The breakthrough came with the discovery of the flamingo's unique eating style. The bill works sort of like an old steam shovel. Uh, the bottom part is made like a, a cup, and the top is the cover for it. And along the edge of the bottom part of the bill, you have these small papilia, these small little fingers, a few, a few thousand of them. And what the flamingo will do is he works his mouth up and down like this, and it flushes the water in and out. And these small papilia fingers are extracting food and holding it and swallowing it. And this is the way they eat. That's why they have to have their food submerged in water. Uh, it was hard. Frank's giving me a really hard time from time to time, but uh, he became part of the family, and it was a part of our routine. It was part of our daily routine. It's taken seven months of constant care, and finally Frank is strong enough to join his flock. The problem now is finding them. It's been a dusty, bumpy, and for some, cramped eight-hour drive through the desert. With true dedication, Frank's surrogate parents elect to chauffeur him the grueling 700 miles north to reunite him with his natural family. We decide to rest up at a hotel in preparation for tomorrow's release. There are six flamingo species. Frank is actually a greater flamingo. They're found here in Egypt and also in India, but not usually in hotels. Frank will never be as pink as his well-known Caribbean cousins, although insects he'll eat in the wild will influence the colour of his plumage. What primarily determines a flamingo's color is the types of aquatic plants and insects that they eat. Mm -hmm. If Frank has a proper diet, then Frank will in time become pink. Uh, this really just depends on uh, where Frank determines to live. It's their last afternoon together, and Jim and Frank play at their own peculiar version of Snap. But all too soon, it's time to embark on the final leg of Frank's overland journey. From five-star luxury to this air-conditioned passage through the Sinai, but Frank's still not really happy. The big consolation, though, is this is his last ride in a motor vehicle. Jim, it's almost the end of the road for you and Frank. How are you feeling? Uh, I don't know. I guess really I'll miss him, but uh, he's a wild boy. He's a wild animal. You know, I mean, uh, it's not proper to, to take his freedom away from him. I wouldn't want to be held as a captive and out of my environment anymore, and I think he does. So uh, you hate to see him go, and you worry about him, but uh, it's the right thing to do. He's a flamingo. Uh, so it's time for him to go be a flamingo. That's the way it is. Personality, pretty unique. So do you think that you'd be 
happy to take another flamingo if one was to land on the door. Well, uh, at least this time I'll know what to feed them, how to feed them properly. Uh, I'll also know that uh, when they have a bowel movement, it goes one meter horizontally, which is something important to know if you're standing behind a flamingo. So, with Frank's bowel habits weighing on my mind, we reach the final stop on our journey, Lake Bardable. The lake forms part of the Zaranik Wildlife Protected Area of the Mediterranean Sea in North Sinai. It's a popular destination for migrating water birds, including the greater flamingo, which come to rest and feed in the extensive salt marsh and mudflats, sometimes up to 13,000 at a time. On the day of our arrival, however, the lake is unseasonally deserted. And there's a moment of apprehension for Jim and Susan. Leave the air conditioning on, Sam, till we release you. Right. But the moment passes when we meet up with Zaranik's chief ranger, Wahid Salamar Hamid, who has scouted the area and located a flock of 22 flamingos, enough to assist Frank's rehabituation. Uh, Susan's been worried all night. He'd be by himself. Uh, his family is here. It's time to go. It's time to be a flamingo. Come on. Easy. Come on. Come on. Let's get you banded. We have to put these bands on you in case someone finds you and they know who you are and where you came from. Jim, did you think this day would ever come for Frank? Well, when you rehabilitate birds, you often wonder if they'll ever be, you know, completely released. But, uh, you know, we have this area as a protected area and part of the national park system and Wally's here. Uh, there are flamingos standing here, so I think it's we couldn't ask for much better. You know, we got the best. Going to figure out what it's like. Yeah. Frank's release is a simple ceremony. It's now Wahib's job to make sure Frank becomes fully integrated. A process he figures will take about two days. Yeah. 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 Pretty happy. Windows, huh? 200 meters away, Frank can see his future family. But for the moment, he looks content to feast on some fresh algae, the first in seven months. And Jim and Susan? We've had him for so long. But he's a bird and birds should be free. And they should fly. And he's where he belongs. And... With other flamingos here, I'm very pleased. As we leave, Frank begins to make his first tentative steps towards the nearby flock and to stretch his wings in preparation for the even greater journey ahead. Wild animals are wild animals. And uh, regardless of how bad you want to keep them, uh, you got to put their, their welfare first. I'll miss you, Frank. It's misunderstood 